you're building a hot rod or you just want to upgrade your 4L Slippy to something that actually works, like the 4L80E, there are some things that you can do to the pin and the plug on the 4L60E that'll actually make it to where your computer and your PCM and all that sort of stuff will work with the 4L80E. Now all of this information I got off of lt1swap.com. They lay it all out nicely, exactly how to do this in a step-by-step -step approach. So we're gonna start working on the plug that goes to the transmission. This is the 4L60E plug. So first we gotta get this gray cover off of here and to do that we gotta remove some of these clips right here. Just one on this side right here, just like that. Ouch, don't stab yourself. like that. Now on the back of this plug you can see they are labeled alphabetically. It's A, B, C, D, and then down here you've got L, M, N, P, R, S, and then T, U, V on the bottom. There's no O and there's no Q, probably because it would be too hard to differentiate between the two, especially if you don't know your ABCs. Stay in school kids, don't do drugs. And then to expose the pins, you gotta remove this white retaining clip. Just kind of gently pry it with your flat screwdriver a little bit at a time until it comes right out. The first one we're gonna remove is this white one in number S. To identify it on this side, we can grab it and just kind of wiggle it. And then down inside here, there's these little clip things that hold the pins in place. You just gotta pry that clip up and then you can pull the pin out. Go. And then we're going to remove this tan and black one here in spot T. Now we're going to move this brown wire from U to S. Boom, just like that. So now to keep this waterproof, we're going to fill in the holes that we just removed pins from with some hot glue. Now I'll reinstall the little retainer clip. Just make sure all those pins are where they need to go. Sometimes they can move around. But there you go. And we'll put the backing plate back on. The 4L80E transmission has two speed sensors, whereas the 4L60E only has one. So this white and the tan with the black stripe wire will get repurposed for the input speed sensor, which is directly above the shifter shaft. And it uses the exact same plug as the vehicle speed sensor that's on the 4L60E. So you're gonna have to attach one of these plugs to these wires. You can grab these on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. But since my wiring came out of a four wheel drive, I actually had a whole bunch of these same exact plugs in the wiring that goes to the transfer case. So I just snipped one off of there. We'll just snip these metal tabs off of here. You can use butt connectors to connect these wires, but since they're two different sizes, I'm actually gonna opt for soldering them together. It doesn't matter which wire gets hooked to which because the polarity doesn't matter. And just for some added insurance, I'm going to wrap this with electrical tape. There you go. Transmission side complete. Now we gotta move on to the PCM. The white wire is gonna be found in your blue PCM and the tan and black wire is gonna be in the red. Yours might be green. This is from a 2002, so mine's red. So let's bust these open. And the white wire should be blue pin 79. We're gonna remove this one and move it to the red pin number 22. So now before we put the cap back on the back side of this, I'm gonna fill this hole with some hot glue as well. Keep it watertight. So this is going to be moved now to pin 22 on the red connector, which is right here. And you can see there's no wire in there. So what we need to do is poke a hole through that little weather pack thing right there. I'm going to use a scribe, but you can also use a nail or something and just kind of jam it down in there until it pokes through. Carefully, you don't break any tabs off or anything. There we go. 
go. Spoke through. I don't know why it should go through there. Yeah. There well, now our tan black wire is over here on pin number 42. So we'll need to remove that one and we're gonna move it to 23. So once again, we'll need to poke a hole through the rubber piece there. And then we'll plug the hole number 42 with some hot glue again. PCM wiring done. And that's it as far as the wiring goes. Now your plugs and everything are all set up. However, there will need to be programming done to the PCM to make sure that it's compatible with the 4L80E now instead of the 4L60. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up on the like thing down there. And make sure you subscribe and check out the social medias. Get yourself a t-shirt over here and I'll see you on the next one.